Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU checking if British surveillance broke laws European Union provides 13 million to East Jerusalem hospitals EU strips immunity from French far rights Le Pen Baroness Ashton's 500 strong army of EU chauffeurs plus New Brussels red tape costs Britain an astonishing £5 billion in two years. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the European Union is examining whether Britain may have broken EU laws after reports that it tapped international phone traffic and shared vast quantities of personal data with the United States, a European Union source said on Wednesday. European politicians have reacted angrily to allegations of large-scale eavesdropping on private communications by Britain and the United States and allegations of the US spying on the EU. Many of the allegations are based on leaks by fugitive former US spy agency contractor Edward Snowden. They are particularly sensitive for EU member Britain because it is bound by EU laws, including strict safeguards for protecting the privacy of personal data. The European Union on Monday provided 13 million euros to East Jerusalem hospitals in response to serious cash flow in the hospitals due to failure of the Palestinian government to pay outstanding debt to these hospitals, an EU press statement said. The announcement was made in ceremonies held at Augusta Victoria Hospital on the Mount of Olives to celebrate the Joint Commission International Accreditation for Quality and Patient Safety awarded to Augusta Victoria and St John's Eye Hospitals last month. The EU responded to the major cash flow problems of East Jerusalem hospitals as a result of the Palestinian Authority's financial crisis, said the statement. The European Parliament has voted to waive immunity from prosecution for far-right French MEP Marine Le Pen, paving the way for her to be prosecuted under French law for inciting racial hatred for remarks she made in a 2010 speech. French far-right leader Marine Le Pen has had her European parliamentary immunity waived and is likely to face these charges of inciting racial hatred over comments she made comparing Islamic immigration in France to Nazi occupation. At a p political rally in December 2010, the MEP, who heads France's anti-Europe and anti-immigration national front, condemned Muslims who were praying in the streets of Paris. She said... For those who like to talk about World War II, to talk about occupation, we could talk about, for once, the occupation of our territory. There are no armoured vehicles, no soldiers, but it is an occupation all the same, and it weighs on people. Statements like that are going to wind you up in the dock in double time. It's a tricky game, this free speech, Lark. You've always got to watch what you say. The controversial Labour peer in charge of the EU's new diplomatic service was facing fresh charges of waste last night after figures revealed that she employs nearly 500 chauffeurs, including one who's paid £62,000 a year. The EU's diplomatic service now employs almost 500 drivers to ferry officials between meetings, with many of them on lavish salaries, figures released to the European Parliament show. The most expensive vehicle bought for the diplomatic service cost £182,695. The figures also show that chauffeurs clocked up 30,000 miles last year with no one in the back of the car. Baroness Ashton, who is paid a salary of more than £250,000, as well as lavish expenses, is the highest paid female politician in the world. Her income is similar to that of US President Barack Obama except the Baroness has got more cars, so put that in your clay pipe and smoke it. Brussels has imposed £5 billion worth of new red tape on Britain in just two years, a damning new analysis reveals today. 
New laws, regulations and rules from Europe have cost the equivalent of £9,500 every minute since the start of 2011. The revelation sparked claims that UK families were bearing the cost of Euro diktats slipped through the back door with little scrutiny. Around 250 new measures were introduced to Britain as a result of rules from European institutions in 2011 and 2012. Of these, 74 imposed additional costs of £5 billion to taxpayers and businesses. They included more than £800 million on green fuels, £250 million from packaging and recycling demands, and £800 million forcing self-employed drivers to cut the hours that they work. The biggest single cost was from regulations introduced after the European Court of Justice banned insurance companies from charging lower premiums for women drivers. So there you go. I don't want any more letters about gender inequality. Today in our video library, overseeing the dispersal of Greek bailout funding can be extremely frustrating. In this short sketch, the female European Union official struggles to ensure that the EU Troika funds are used appropriately. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>